Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my favorites of 2012. So this is a really huge video because I don't know if I did one last year, but this video pretty much consumes everything that has been my favorite for the complete year of 2012. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it because this video will have makeup, um, and some little bath products, things like that, little skincare products, and some really random favorites, favorites like um, books and TV. So I am going to go ahead and get right into the video. This out, I do want to talk about my Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. This has been my favorite moisturizer of the year. Um, I got it probably earlier, maybe midsummer. And I absolutely love this for wearing it underneath my eyes. I find that products go on much um, kind of nicer underneath my eyes as far as concealers go. And it does really do a nice job of hydrating that area and making me look a little bit more awake. I don't have a problem with um, under eye bags, but I do have a problem with under eye circles. So this does help a little bit because of the color. I have talked about in that about that in other videos. But yeah, this is definitely a great moisturizer if you guys are looking for one for in the morning underneath your eyes. So moving on to foundations, I have two favorite foundations of the year. One of them is high end and it is the Chanel Vitalumere Aqua Foundation. I am currently wearing 40 beige, this is my winter color and during the summer I think I use 50. I absolutely love this foundation, I wear it year round. I do have um, mixtured skin, my skin can get oily throughout the day but it is dry in the morning. So I have combination skin but I absolutely love this foundation. And I've been using it for probably a year and a half now, and I love it. I use it year-round. It is perfect for building, and you can use it as a tinted moisturizer. So it's really an everything foundation. You can build it up to full coverage, whatever you want. But I definitely recommend this, and it makes your skin look flawless and dewy and amazing. And I have no complaints whatsoever about this foundation. Moving on, this foundation is something that my friend gave me during the middle of the year. And this is a drugstore foundation. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the color Warm. So this one is for what I use now um, as far as if I'm tanner, like if I use myself tanner or something like that. But I absolutely love this foundation. It is so luminizing as it says in the title. It just makes your skin glow. And I find that it wears really well into the day. It does not oxidize at all. And I just find that it's perfect. And it's a very kind of like liquidy foundation compared to the Vita Lumiere, which is a lot thicker when you apply it if you shake up the bottle. And this one is more of a typical foundation. So if you guys are looking for something that's still light and luminous, but that does apply like a normal foundation, then I would definitely check this out. I think it is so um, underrated on YouTube and no one really talks about it, but I absolutely am a huge fan of this. But moving on, I'm going to talk about my favorite concealers of the month, of the year, sorry. So my favorite concealer is again something that I found a little bit later in the year, but um, I really fell in love with it and it is the NARS um, concealer in medium one custard and this is a really great stick concealer. I use it under my eyes. I haven't really used it on blemishes because I haven't been getting many at the end of the year. So yeah, but I have absolutely been loving this. It stays put all day. So moving on to my other favorite concealer. This is no surprise, the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. And this is in the shade Nude Chair. And I absolutely love this. It is a great highlighting concealer for underneath your eyes going down your nose, on your cupid's bow, anything that you want to highlight but still give it a little bit of coverage. I absolutely love this and because you can get it at the drugstore, it's really easy to get your hands on and it's not that expensive. So this is something that you would normally go through really quick but because it's at the drugstore, I don't really mind and I don't think you will either. So I would definitely, definitely recommend this product. So my favorite eye primer of the year has definitely been the NARS um, Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Now for most of the year I did actually use the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, but I have to say this one definitely takes the cake as far as primers go. This primer is absolutely amazing. It makes my eyeshadows wear so much better than the Urban Decay one did and it just makes your 
eyeshadows more vibrant, but it also keeps them from moving at all. And I'm someone who definitely suffered from my eyeshadows moving during the day. And this one completely solved my problems. It is no exaggeration that this is probably one of my favorite products of all time that just absolutely blew my mind. I was speechless when I used this and I would really recommend it to anyone. It is definitely hands down my favorite product of the year and it is only a primer so. Now kind of going along with eyeshadow bases, I have two favorite cream eyeshadows of the, of the year. So the first one is the Color Tattoo um, by iStudio 24 hour eyeshadow base in the color Bad to the Bronze. So this is a product by Maybelline and you guys probably have heard about this a ton on YouTube. Um, it is just the nicest creamy bronze colored layer alone or underneath eyeshadows and this is a product that I've used all year and I just absolutely love it and it's great for days when I don't want to do that much my, that much to my makeup and I've had friends come over and use this and they just love it so much. But now what I found later in the year but has completely blown my mind is the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream and this is a waterproof cream eyeshadow base. And this one is in the color 16, and the name is not on here, but it's just shade 16. And this one is a gorgeous pink color base that I've been wearing almost every single day in the month of December and part of November. Um, I've just been absolutely in love with these two products. They are great to wear under eyeshadow. If you guys haven't used a cream eyeshadow base before, then I would definitely go ahead and try them. So moving on to eyeshadows for the year of 2012, I have two that I've been using the most. I do have a lot of eyeshadows that I've been loving this year, but these two have definitely been the ones that I've gravitated towards the most. So the first one is the CoverGirl Trio in the shade Simmering, Shimmering Sands. And this one has a light pink kind of shadow um, highlight, a um, kind of light teddy bear brown, for an all over color and then a dark brown with a little bit of a red tone in there for the darkest crease color. I absolutely love this for a drugstore um, eyeshadow trio. This has really great, um, a really great consistency and pigmentation and I find that they blend really well. But now if you are looking for something a little more high end then my other favorite of the year has been the NARS Kalahari Duo. And now I do have to say that NARS is definitely one of my favorites. Um, for eyeshadows in general now after I tried out this one but this one is just an amazing um, neutral color duo and it has a little bit of a purple undertone in it which is why I gravitated towards it because I have brown eyes but um, it has a dark brown and kind of like a little more metallic lighter brown and I absolutely love those. Now for eyeliners I chose to leave my eyeliners out but if you guys do want to know my favorites for the year I just won't show them in this video. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On for the pencil and I use the color Zero normally and the Stila Sail Day Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black, Carbon Black or Just Black. Um, They've changed the name a couple times, so I'm not sure what it is. But that is a felt tip eyeliner, and you guys know if you've watched any of my other videos that that is by far my favorite eyeliner of all time, but um, I just didn't want to put it in here because I thought it would get a little redundant. So moving on, I would like to talk about my favorite mascaras of the month, of the year. I keep saying month. So I have used quite a few mascaras um, this year. I've gravitated from high end to low end, I mean not low end, to drugstore. Um, and I have to say that drugstores have really become my favorite mascara for this year. Um, I hadn't really used them before then because I had a really bad um, encounter with the Maybelline Great Lash, I think, which is normally the basic mascara that everyone starts with. But I just hated it. It made my eyelashes really uncomfortable and I just hated that one. So I never went back to um, drugstore mascara until a drugstore by me was having a complete sale store-wide and I just kind of went a little mascara crazy. So the one that takes the cake, if I'm only going to talk about one, is definitely the Voluminous Million Lashes and this is by L'Oreal and it just comes in this shiny packaging. Um, I use this one, ooh, I just dropped. So I would definitely use the Million Lashes by L'Oreal. So my favorite bronzer of the year has been by far the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder with Real Cocoa in the, co in the shade Original Chocolate. You guys know this product, I'm sure, it is just a matte 
um, bronzing powder and I absolutely love this not only because it tastes and smells so good and you guys will only get the taste part if you've ever applied this but because it is just the perfect thing for contouring and for just giving yourself an all over bronze and it's just a lot more natural and because it's matte I think that it adds so much more because it just gives you a more natural look and um, it doesn't it's not orange at all it's a complete matte chocolatey color um, almost like perfectly milk like you made yourself a cup of chocolate milk and you made a bronzer out of it um, so this just applies amazingly and um, yeah I just I can't ever think of going to a different bronzer after this one I have Moving on to my favorite cheek product of the year this one is kind of it was very debatable now I did use a lot of different ones during the summer but this is just one that it was my first blush that have I been saying bronzer? Okay, well, this has been my favorite blush of all time. It was the first one that I ever bought, and I've totally stuck to my guns on it. Um, and, like, I've used other ones during the summer, but I just don't think that they're quite as great as this one. So, this is the one that I've always gravitated towards year-round, and it is the MAC um, Sheer Tone Blush in the color Blush Baby. But kind of a matte, just almost mauve pink, that's how I would describe it. I find that it complements any look and it's just really easy to wear and apply. So for my highlighter, um, this has definitely been obvious if you guys know that I started using this recently. This is the Dior Highlighting um, Shimmer Powder in the shade Amber Diamond. So you guys know this, it's the Christian Dior um, makeup line and it is an amazing highlighter that goes from some like oranges to deep pinks to lighter goldens. It's just an amazing highlighter. I wear this all over my face and it just gives me a really luminous finish instead of looking really like sloppy and you know like sweaty on my face because that's what a lot of highlighters kind of do if you apply them wrong. That one is definitely my favorite and I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah I have only good things to say about it. My favorite lip balm of the year has definitely been the Smith's Rosebud South Balm. It is a great um, lip hydrator during the day. I put this in my purse. I never leave my house without it. Um, and even in my house, I use this, to be honest. It's so easy to find. You find this at any store, pretty much. And it smells amazing. And it just is amazing on your lips. I haven't found anything more hydrating than this product. And I have huge problems with my lips being dry all the time. And it makes it nearly impossible for me to wear a lipstick unless if I just automatically apply it right after, like, using a lip exfoliator. Um, I have the colors Heavenly Berry and Rose Elixir here. And this is by Revlon. They're called the Color Riche Lip Balms with SBF 15 in them. So I love these two colors. These are my favorite colors out of the line that I have. And I just absolutely love these. Not only are they super hydrating for your lips, they're better than baby lips or anything like that, um, but they offer really nice light pigmentation that I find is really nice and it applies really creamy and dewy. And if you are someone who has chapped lips like me, I find that this kind of hides that and it just makes it look like you're not chapped at all. And it also does help hydrate your lips a lot, like a really deep and nourishing hydrating color. So I would definitely recommend these if you guys are trying to keep your lips hydrated during the day. With the NARS lip gloss in the color Geyser. And this one is something I bought, I think, last year or two years ago. Probably around the same time that I bought Turkish Delight when that was big. And I absolutely love the formula of NARS lip glosses. Um, I've used other ones and I just always go back to this one by NARS. And I don't know why, because this one is just a plain... Um, really neutral toned lip gloss but I just love it and it looks so good and it really looks good over that lipstick so yeah because here I have the lush lip scrub in the scent sweet and this one smells like chocolate and vanilla and I absolutely love this for exfoliating your lips like I said I have really dry lips so this really helps and I've used the one by sugar and that one I just find didn't do the job, job, it wasn't abrasive enough. And this one is super abrasive, it tastes really amazing. Some lip scrubs can taste really gross if you accidentally get some on your tongue, but this thing you'll actually want to eat it afterwards because it's real sugar in there. Um, so yeah, I love this and um, it's really nice because this is made out of all natural products. 
and it's really not that expensive for lip scrub. Moving on, I want to talk about my favorite face mask of the year. Now, you guys know if you watched my skincare video way back when, that this was really the first mask that I went out and purchased for myself. No, right. It is the bot. It is by the Body Shop, and it is the Seaweed Ionic Clay Mask. So it just has a really nice gray clay consistency. Um, gray and clay is funny, <laughs> and it smells really nice. This one's really nice. It just kind of takes out the toxins in your skin, really. Um, and if you guys go in, then they will match this to your skin type. So mine is for combination to oily skin, and I absolutely love this. I do have to follow up with a really good moisturizer, though. But I do love this, and I use it almost every week, every Sunday, and I leave it on for 10 minutes, and it is just the only mask that I will use right now. My last skincare product in this video, my favorite of the year, and probably of all time, is the Garnier The Refreshing Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Now, everyone loves the simple or the yes to carrots or yes to cucumbers or whatever, but this is by far my favorite. Um, I use this to take off all my makeup, my eye makeup, my mascara, my face makeup. Um, this is my favorite product. I have repurchased it month after month after month, and I just absolutely love this. It is so soft on your skin. It's not abrasive at all. And it just really does the job of getting your skin clean and you feel so fresh afterwards. And I think that is really what you want for a refreshing remover cleansing towelette. And I just <laughs> renamed the towel the title of the product. Um what I meant to say was this is the exact type of thing that you want to whether it's taking off your makeup or just refreshing your skin after a long day or a flight or something like that. These are perfect and they just make you feel like a million bucks as you use them. Now I'm going to go back to a little bit of makeup before I finish up my kind of randoms. So I'm going to talk about my two favorite nail polishes of the year. I just want to talk about the two that I've absolutely loved. Now the first one is by Essie, which is my favorite brand if you guys want to know that, for the year of 2012. But this one is the color Cascade Cool. I believe it was a part of their summer collection if I'm not wrong. This one is a Barbie pink. I absolutely love this. I talked about this in my summer favorites, I think. And I just love this. I've used it in the winter. I love using this under one of my favorite glitters by Essie. And I just love this color. It makes me feel so pretty and girly when I wear it. Now the next color is an interesting pick for me because I don't like the Sally Hansen nail line. It's a Sally Hansen Hardest Nails Extreme Wear nail color in the color Pacific Blue. Now I got into this because I was watching another guru on YouTube and um, the color just looked really vibrant and nice, and I wore it, and I got a million compliments on it. I'm just really drawn to this polish. I don't know what it is, but it is definitely the best nail polish that I think I ever bought. Not necessarily for consistency, but definitely for color. So, I really love this one, and I definitely recommend checking it out, and I think I'm that. So, this is my favorite hair product of the year, and this is the Pantene Restore Beautiful Lengths. Smoothing Balm, and I absolutely love this product. This product I absolutely love. It is amazing for growing out your hair, and it does donate towards breast cancer, I believe, um, with every purchase. I'm not sure if they're still doing that, but I know when they originally came out with this, that's what its purpose was. So this one is amazing at helping my hair grow. Um, I'm someone who has a very hard time getting my hair to grow longer. Um, it normally stops right here, but after using this product a couple years ago, um, it just worked wonders on my hair. I couldn't find it and then I found it again this year and I just absolutely love this. I put a little squirt in my hands, one pump, and I run it through my hair and I've just seen amazing results with this. If you want to grow out your hair, I definitely recommend trying this out. It really helps with split ends and things like that and yeah, I just absolutely love this. I use it every single day, the only thing that I will always use. Um, so moving on, I'm going to talk about my random favorites now. So my first random favorite, oh my voice is going now, is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Lavender Chamomile Pillow Mist. And this stuff is amazing. I don't go to sleep without it now. You just squirt this on your I pillow. absolutely love this and um, it just makes going to sleep a little more luxury. I don't have my favorite spring or summer candle because I burned it out all the way when the summer ended, so um, I don't have that one, but my favorite one was definitely the Coco Lobo by um, Bath and Body Works, Simon Co. They're the only candles I really use, 
So that one was definitely my favorite of the summer. I had two of them, I burned through them completely, and I got a little sick of the scent at the end, but I will probably still rebuy it next year. So now going into my fall scent favorite, it is definitely the Cinnamon Sugar Donut. And this is one that I didn't buy the first time around going into fall scents, so I only got this one because it was on clearance. And then recently, you guys saw if you watched my daily vlog a couple days ago, I bought the mini, mini, mini one of this, and I just absolutely love the scent. It is so homey, and yeah, I absolutely love this, and I'll be so sad when I burn it out. And hopefully it comes out again next year. I don't know if this is one of the staple scents by then, but I absolutely love this, and I will cry if I don't have it next year. So now I'm going to go into my favorite accessory of the year. Now, I don't use a lot of jewelry accessories, however, I have bought a lot of them this year. And I got really obsessed with rose gold. And this is the Michael Kors watch, and I have it in the style B the Blair Glitz watch. So this one has some um, gems around the face of the watch. It has the three smaller faces within it. One's a stopwatch, one is the minutes, and one is the hours of the day. So I absolutely love this watch, and it is in rose gold, which has been my obsession for the year 2012, and probably for most of 2013. But so my favorite books of the year, I have two. One of them, both of them are series actually, but I'm only going to show you one book out of this one. This is The Summer I Turned Pretty series by Jenny Han. Um, I read this book over the summer and I think on spring break this year um, in 2012. And I read this book series probably like four, five, six times maybe. Um, there are three books in this series. It's by Jenny Han. And I absolutely love this book. It means so much to me. And if you guys were ever had confidence issues or anything like that, or you ever felt rejected or anything like that, then I definitely recommend this book. Um, if you guys also like Sour Destin, then I would really recommend checking out this series because you'll just absolutely fall in love with it the way that I have. And yeah. now the other book series that I fell in love with this year was The Hunger Games. So I got into this book after the movie, after seeing it, I wanted to see what the book was about because my friends in art um, were always talking about it. So I have the trilogy set here, which I was really excited to get because if you guys were fans of like Harry Potter or Twilight and you read it midway, then I could never get a hold of the whole set without rebuying a book. So I was really glad that I could finally buy one of them because they save you a lot of money. It doesn't top any of my other series at all, but it was definitely a favorite of mine and I can't wait for the next movie, um, which will be coming out next year. Oh, but my favorite movie then of the year... No, that didn't even come out this year, dang it. Well, my favorite movie of the year would still be Harry Potter, whether you guys like it or not since it isn't technically a movie this year. No, wait! My favorite movie of the year was actually The Amazing Spider-Man with um, Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. I saw it twice in theaters and I will buy the movie as soon as it comes out. So that will be my favorite movie of the year. And my favorite TV shows of the year, I do have quite a few. There's 90210, Gossip Girl, which just ended, Vampire Diaries, which I'm obsessed with. I want Elena to be with Stefan. I'm sorry, but Damon is just not the one for her. I'm sorry. Just, just what I believe. Um, and then on ABC Family, by far my favorite on there is Secret Life. But after that, there is, of course, um, there is Pretty Little Liar, sorry. Um, Switched at Birth, I got into this year. And um, The Lion Game, I really love. Um, what else is there? I was really sad when Teen Mom ended. I really liked Macy. I don't know why. That was a serious love of mine, but I really liked that, and I think that might be it. I think. Oh, and Glee. I love Glee. So I have a lot of TV favorites. Those are really just every single TV show that I watch. But um, yeah, so those are my favorites of 2012. Everything that I have to say about that. So this video was probably really long, but if you guys made it to this point, then give me a thumbs up so that way I know how many people made it and I will probably get none. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you guys want to leave a comment below telling me some of your favorites or asking me about my favorites or any of that, 
then go ahead and write it down below. I love you all. I hope that you had an amazing new year. If you guys are watching this after the new year or before, um, then I hope that you still have a great new year. And yeah, I hope that you guys say goodbye to 2012 with love and with happiness looking back on your year. And yeah, so I love you guys. Thank you for spending 2012 with me. Hopefully you knew some of my favorites before I said them. And yeah, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe below. And follow me on Instagram. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything will be in the down bar below. And I love you. Bye.